Morning, Chase. Well, US dollar saw marginal weakness in Wednesday's session uh, in a pretty quiet news day. Uh, US dollar index pushing to lows of a, uh, after a strong 30-year Treasury auction saw yields drop there. Uh, Dix, why briefly breaking below Tuesday's low, 102.72. Uh, a turnaround later in the session, I did see uh, the dollar index retake that 50% FIB support level at about 102.80. Um, that's ahead of today's uh, big news releases in retail sales, jobless claims, and, uh, and PPI. Uh, the euro saw pretty good gains against the US dollar. Euro US setting a weekly high there, 109.48. We had our ECB member Villaroy speaking, saying that the ECB is winning the inflation battle, but cuts are more likely appropriate in June rather than April. So Euro US holding above that key 109 support level so far this week with 110 really being the, the next major resistance to the upside there. Um, US dollar yen was uh, ultimately flat in a bit of a whipsawing session. Uh, I saw the dollar yen testing at 148 to the upside before pairing gains. The yen strengthened a bit on a report from Reuters suggesting that early signs uh, suggest a strong outcome in the annual wage talks, and that has heightened the chances that the Bank of Japan will end their negative interest rate policy next week. Uh, gold popped again, um, recouping most of Tuesday's losses, uh, bouncing off that 21.51 support level there um, as it heads into the APAC session around 21.75 US dollars an ounce. Um, next upside resistance on gold, really looking like that all time high there around 21.95 USD an ounce.